What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I Am Music Mogul, and welcome to the first Ask I Am Ask Adam video. Now what these Ask Adam videos are, is I take the questions from my YouTube inbox, my YouTube comments, and basically what I do is, I take the ones that I think other people have, and create a little segment video on these questions. So let's get to our first question. Can you do a tutorial on splitting stereo files so that the left and right parts are individual tracks? And that question is from NJROTC1, and yes. Here's our stereo track. Let's hit play to hear how it sounds first. All right, nothing special, right? Now, if you just want to hear how it sounds in mono to bounce the stereo to mono, just hit this little, these two circles here and under the level meter and you'll sum the stereo file to mono. But uh, NJROTC1 wants to, I guess, see how, what uh, Pro Tools does and what Pro Tools does when it imports a stereo file is that it automatically separates the left and the right which is very helpful but in Logic for some reason they just don't have that but you can do it so what you do here is you go to your your bin section of your session click the um, the file itself that you want to split go up here to audio file and go to where is it copy convert files so going to name it here and what you want to do is you want to you can set all your settings here. I'm just going to leave it the same as the file itself. And in, under stereo conversion, go interleave to split and hit save. What it does, it bounces it automatically in your region. So you don't have to leave, you don't have to do anything. It's done, everything is done right here in Logic. And as you can see, here's our left and our right files. And then you can just drag them in. And then now you have your left and your right files all separated. So let's solo our left. And let's solo our right. And that is how you separate stereo files into two mono. All right, next question is from Bold Standard. And his question is this. If you have a MIDI controller set up to control the plugins and volume on a track, is it possible to edit the track in real time and record your movements as automations? And yes, it's actually very simple to do automation in Logic. And it is very essential to, essential to uh, mixing in Logic and mixing in any program for that matter. Um, I always want to do a video just on automation. I will be doing it, so it's coming out soon. But here's a little snippet, I guess, if you can say. Uh, basically, to start automation um, in Logic, I'm not going to do it on my uh, controller because I don't have it plugged in right now, but I'll do it right here on the screen. What you want to do to activate the automation first is go here. Under your input and your output, right here is a thing where's your automation. So you could do read, touch, latch, write. Right is, well, I'll, in my video, I'll go through the different ones. Usually what I do first is touch. So basically what touch is, is that after you're done moving the automation, it goes back right to the place where it started from. And you'll see right now what I mean. Let's hit A so you can see the actual movements of my automation. So let's hit A on the keyboard to bring up the automation menu, automation window. And um, basically to start recording your automation, just hit play. And as we hit play, I'm going to move my fader, do some volume changes. And you see right here what touch does. I started off at 0 dBs and I went all the way down. And after I pulled off the fader, it went right back to 0. That's why I like to record with touch when, when I do my mixes because it goes back to right where the original level of the audio file was at and I like that's how I like to mix automation with. And one more thing you can also you can do multiple automations at a time. So let's leave it on touch. Or actually this time let's go on um latch. Go here, click again from the beginning and this time I'm gonna do the pan. So let's hit play to record our automation. And there's our panning automation. Now, if we play it back, you can hear everything going on. And after you're done, just you can turn this back to read and Logic will read it. 
you don't have to change it back to read, but I like to change it back to read. So if you're pressing play and you change something, it's not going to change your automation. All right, the last question is from Lou the Legend, and his question is this. I have a question when you put in automation volume in a track with the different volume levels. How do you move the entire volume in a track without having to lower the volume for each automated volume? Now, his question is, how does he move all this automation down or up without having to move each one of these circles that you see here or your automation recordings here? And I'm going to show you right now. Um, before I go to that, actually, I want to show you something here. When you have different... Um, instances of automation it goes here so if you hit volume this is my volume automation recording that i just did and showed you guys if i go to pan that is my automation for the panning that i did so you can easily flip between the two all right so now let's move this whole volume automation down or up like i uh, the legend want to see so hit escape on your keyboard and you can use the automation select tool now i don't like to use this tool that much but um Basically, you select it all, and you can move the automation up. Everything moves up, respectively, at what points they're at, or you can move it down. And also, I also usually just use the marquee tool to do the same thing. You just select it, hit your pointer tool, and you can move it up, and you can move it down. I'm giving you guys two ways just because I know people like to see different ways in how you can do something. And I like to use the marquee tool because I usually use the marquee tool ongoing. So I just keep going to the same tool. But the automation tool does the same job. So again, you select all your automation and go up. Oop. And select it. Select your automation and go up or down. Up or down to whatever you like. <laughs> and uh, yeah, to make sure that you're in this window, you hit A. So that's. The regular window which you see the audio file hit a and you see that again so let's change the instance of the automation we'll go to pan and let's do it again escape automation select tool select your automation up oh that was down up down up down you get the point that's the question from the legend thanks for the questions guys all right so that's it i'm adam from i'm a music mogul and uh, thank you guys for all your questions i will be posting these videos more often taking your questions and doing a video on it and uh, yeah, subscribe as there's always more videos to come. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Class is now out of session.